Treasure Valley Gardeners, how you doing? Today I'm out here planting some dahlias in the garden. Dahlias are no known as a warm season plant in our climate. They need to be treated like an annual and actually their growing culture is very similar to that of tomatoes. This means you want to wait to plant them until after the danger of frost and until the soil has warmed a bit. They also like lots of sun. Ideally, six hours is perfect, and if you can provide a little bit of protection from afternoon sun, the blooms will last longer. And of course, wind protection is always a bonus. There's a really big range of color and form when choosing dahlias. Some have really small two inch flowers that are very compact, kind of like a pom-pom. And then others will have really large flowers, like 12 inches. They're called the dinner plate dahlias, and they can have tons of fluffy petals and their sizes in between that as well. Also, some of the plants are shorter. You might see them in pots. And of course the dinner plate size dahlias, they're taller, four to five feet tall. So you really have a big range of choice growing dahlias. But one thing's for sure, they contrast really nicely with other landscape plants and the flowers are bold and really beautiful in the garden. I'm planting all of the same dahlia in my garden today and that is one named Cafe Olay. This one is a dinner plate sized dahlia. It has really beautiful creamy colored flowers that turn a blush pink as well. And I'm going to be adding it to a perennial bed I have other light colored summer blooming perennials in this bed. I have a row of delphiniums in the back and then a couple of English roses here. And I'm just going to add in a couple of the dinner plate sized dahlias into this garden landscape. Planting dahlias in your landscape, the first thing you want to do is dig a hole four to six inches deep and twice as big around. I've pre-dug my holes, but I wanted to share before moving on that I used my new floral shovel. This is something my husband purchased me, but it was a recommendation from my mom, who is a longtime gardener. And I have to say, I found it very handy. It is tall as a regular shovel, but the head is a lot smaller. It's very lightweight. And I've also found it's plenty tough enough, but it's very handy to dig out little weeds if you see them in your landscape, instead of needing to bend down and pull out every single weed. So thanks guys. And if anyone is interested, they do carry floral shovels at DNB. So to get back to planting, what you'll want to do is take the tuber and place it on its side with the eye pointing up. The eye is where the plant starts to grow. After that, if you're growing a taller dahlia, place a stake in the hole because if you do it now, you can see where you're placing the stake and you won't risk injuring the tuber. After that, add a little bit of compost to the dirt that you've already dug up and a little well-balanced fertilizer and backfill. So the last step is just to water in the dahlias and that will get the soil established around the tuber and also get rid of any air pockets. And once you've got them watered in really well, just give them a good amount of water. You don't need to water them again until you see the green shoots start to break the soil. That's when you know the plant is growing and you can give more water. Overall, dahlias need a moderate amount of water in the growing season, but they don't like a consistently moist, wet soil because they can have a tendency to rot. Okay, thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time.